Hi folks, welcome to a video about how to create a pie chart, also known as a circle graph. If we're looking at this type of data, hopefully you're saying in your head already that this is category data. Remember, category data is data that is not necessarily dependent on the other data that's there. It could be different types of categories, um, and so the order that we list them in doesn't matter. Category data is best shown in a bar graph or a circle graph slash pie chart. I think a pie chart is going to be a nice way to show this data because it'll give us, you know, a whole circle and we'll be able to split it into portions based on what portion or how large of a portion we spend on each type of activity and so that'll give us a nice visual of how much time we spend on each activity. First couple steps here are to do some calculations. If we look at these six, uh, sorry, two, four, yep, six categories, we want to figure out, well, how many total minutes do we have here and then what portion is each of these activities of those total minutes? So if we add these all up, I've done this for you already, we're going to get 1,440 total minutes in our day. Well, what is 142 minutes out of or divided by 1,440? And you should get approximately 10%, which we're going to write as the decimal 0 0.10. Remember, as percent can be as a decimal or as a percent. Now I'm going to be rounding some of these, so same rules of rounding, if it's less than 5 you round down, if it's 5 and up you round up. Same thing we're going to do here, 490 divided by 1440 and that's approximately 34 percent. I'm not going to write all these out, but if we do 120 divided by 1440, then we're getting approximately 8%. Remember, 8% is 0.08 as a decimal. Socializing, 160 divided by 1,140 is going to be approximately 11%. 330 divided by 1,440 is approximately 23%. And other, maybe you're eating or working out or something else, 198 minutes out of 1,440 is 14%. Important, it's very important since we've done some rounding here, that when we need to check our work, we add all these up and hopefully it should equal out to be 1.00, also known as 100%. We need to make sure that all of our time is accounted for, 100% of our day is accounted for. Well, percents are great, but we know a circle is in degrees of 360. So we're going to take these percentages as decimals and multiply each one by 360 to get the number of degrees that we're going to assign to it. Well, obviously 10% of 360 is 36 degrees. And we're going to multiply this one by 360 as well. And that's going to be approximately, again, we're going to do some rounding, 122 degrees. Same calculations. We're going to multiply by 360. So 0.08 times 360 is going to be 29 degrees. 0.11 times 360 is going to be approximately 40 degrees. This one works out to be approximately... 83 degrees, still doing the same calculations, and this one, same calculations, approximately 50 degrees. Now, same thing, let's check our math. When we add these all up, they should equal to 360 degrees, so we account for the whole circle, and indeed they do. All right, now's the time to try and draw our circle. Let's go to the next page. Bear with me as I try and work on some new compass skills on the computer here. If you have a compass at home, that's great. You can try and draw a circle oops, with the compass. If not, 
maybe you have a glass or a water bottle or something that you can copy, um, trace, otherwise just sketch it for now. One thing we do want to do is put a dot right at the center of the circle where you're going to put the center of your compass so that you know where the center is. And I believe I can then expand my compass out. The point the, is it right there at the dot. And then I'm going to, come on, draw a nice big circle. And then I'm just going to set my compass off to the side. Now we're going to use our protractor to draw in the degrees that we had calculated on the previous slide. This I think I can make smaller. And I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to set the T of my protractor maybe right on that center dot. So it's important that that dot is there. And then I want to take the first measurement which is 36 degrees. And so I'm starting at the zero which is going to be on the inside rung. And I'm going to go 20, 30, 6 is going to be right, one more there. And I think what I'm going to have to do is take a pen and put a little mark here and a little mark right here. And then move my compass, oops, a daisy. See if I can move my compass out of the way. Am I allowed to move it out of the way? And I'm going to grab a line. And I'm going to draw a line, so I know I'm going to be lined up with that point. And right there, that point. And I'm going to quickly jot in that, oops, this is the 36 degrees or the homework section, so I don't forget where I am there. Just erase this a little bit. Oh, I can't do that. Anyway, now I'm going to take my compass again, see if it's going to let me line it up. So I'm marking the T right on the dot again. Now this line is going to be here, and I want to move, whoops, that's going to stay there. The next measurement I want to take is 122 degrees. So from the last line, 122 is going to be way right here. Same thing. I'm going to mark a pen point so that I have that there. Move this out of the way. Get a line. And I'm going to draw my line in to mark off 122 degrees. It's going to be to about, oops, about right there. And again, this was for sleep. Okay. Compass again. Oh. Uh, see if it's going to let me drag it over here. Okay, so put the point there and then I want to rotate it around to go from my last line and I'm looking for this time 29 degrees. So there's 10, 29 is going to be just before the 30. And sorry, this is a long process. Grab my marker pen. Move this out of the way, grab a line, mark it off, get the pen again, and this is TV watching. Excellent. Same thing, get the protractor. See if I can rotate it. Oh, a little bigger is fine. No, I want that right there. There we go. Rotate it here. After TV, we're going to spend 40 degrees, or 11% of our time, 160 minutes, on socializing. So we take our thing here, and we're going to 40 degrees, which is right there. Same thing, get my pen marked off. Move this out of the way, grab a line, and I'm going to here. A lot of repetitive steps once you get the basic steps down. And this is being social.
All right. Two more categories. So I have my T right in the center, and I'm moving this around so it's lined up with the previous line. And I'm looking for 83 degrees this time, so 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, that's closer to 4. Right there, grab my pen, mark that, grab this out of the way. The nice thing about this is that I am all done because we have um, school here. Whoa, sorry about that. And other is already all set for us. If you have not already labeled your categories, you definitely want to make sure you label them. And if you have an opportunity to shade them in with some color, um, or draw a legend on the side, that's useful as well. It's also useful to put a title on. This is um, how I spend my day. Great. Thanks for listening. Let me know if you have questions. We'll be practicing this in class.